Hi, it's Rachel with Mary again, and she and I are going to work on recall today. So I did a sit-stay with her um, a couple days ago, and I did the stay-wait thing with Sam. This is another way to introduce weight to Mary. Uh, a recall consists of sit, wait, and come to you. So we'll get a little bit of come practice as well. Um, this is really important for her. Um, you know, especially if you have her at the beach, um, something like that, if you have her sit and wait for something. And also it uh, helps her practice the weight and also practice come in a much more focused setting. So if she were just out off leash or maybe on that long training leash that I used on Sam, um, and you were to call her, she might be super distracted. However, with a recall, um, She's sitting and waiting. You aren't doing super long distances, and so it's much more concentrated, and she's paying a lot more attention to you for the come. So it's good practice for that as well. So we're just going to start off and uh, go a little slow since she hasn't been introduced to weight before. Usually dogs pick it up pretty well, and um, it is good uh, to always remember the, differ the difference between stay and wait. Stay is stay forever until you physically come release them and wait is when you release them from a distance with a come or an okay. So Mary, come here. Good sit. All right, remember stay is the stop sign in front of the face and wait is drawing the invisible line they aren't allowed to cross. So Mary, wait. Uh, 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 uh. Wait. Come. Good job Mary. Good wait. Good girl. Okay, that was good. Uh, I did come right away, right after that um, uh, wait, because I wanted her to get it. She kind of lunged forward a little bit in coming forward, so just wanted to do uh, long enough for her to be in a solid weight, but not too long to where uh, she would come out of it or anything like that. Mary, yeah. sit, wait, uh-uh, sit, wait. one more time um, and specifically uh, focusing on making sure she doesn't kind of have that false start that she's had the past couple times. So come here Mary. Wait. 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 So she's good at that. Um, that it seemed to help her just kind of repeating it and uh, redoing the motion. Um, even if they aren't sure what that means, they're just you know kind of stepping back and watching you and listening to you. Um, and then when they do it correctly, we call them, give them praise. Then that's when they start to make the connection of what they were doing versus what we were saying and showing them. Um, now I'm going to do a little bit more weight practice with her of doing okay as a release word. So I'll have her weight, put the treat down on the ground, and then tell her okay, and she goes to the treat. So Mary, come here. Mary, come here. Sit. Good girl. Wait. And whenever you're dealing with the food, make sure you choke up on the leash. Mary, sit. Good sit. Wait. Because she will try to go for it. Wait. Okay. Okay. Good. Good wait. Good girl. Okay, so she did really well there. Uh, it's a little different than what most dogs have. Usually dogs lunge forward at first, and then as soon as you say okay, uh, they go for it. And with her, she was actually really good at restraining herself and um, was waiting for reassurance that I really did mean it was okay for her to... Uh, go towards the tree. So that's good that she's paying that much attention. So Mary, sit. Sit. Good sit. Wait. Wait. Okay. Okay. Good girl. Good wait. Good wait. Okay. 
What I'm going to do now is do a couple more recalls, uh, recall exercises, and then we'll uh, kick it up a notch with her. Mary? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Leave it. Mary, sit. Sit. Mary, come on. Mary, sit. Come here. Mary, hey. Sit. Sit. Mary. Sit. Good sit. Good sit, Mary. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so with that, seeing um, a person walking, she kind of wasn't herself for a bit and was completely focused on them to where she wasn't listening towards me at all. I like the fact that she didn't um, lunge and, you know, try to run after him and she wasn't barking super aggressively or anything like that. But um, it, she has trouble listening to me and I have trouble getting through to her when she has a distraction like that. So... With her, even though she wasn't sitting for the longest time, it's really important if you ask her to do it, you make her follow through with it. Um, and like what we've gone over before with meeting new people, she should always sit when she meets a new person. Um, even though Connor didn't come up to us um, to try to pet her or anything, this, um, the first step is getting her to sit when there is a new person that she notices. So um, definitely make sure... She, uh, uh sit, Mary. Mary, sit. Come on. Mary. Come here. Sit. Good sit. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. Okay. Um, but it, it, it really is important to practice that so um, that when she does get more excited and also if you have Sam out with you guys, um, they feed off of each other's energy, and, and it can be harder to control each of them. So it's really important to practice this and make her follow through on what you tell her when there is a distraction like another person um, like that. So good stay, Mary. Good girl. All right, Mary, wait. Come. Good job. Good girl. You're acting like yourself again. Yes, you are. Good girl. Okay, come here. Mary, sit. Good, sit. See, she's very responsive when uh, there isn't any distraction. Very good. Wait. Uh-uh. Wait. Wait. Come. Good job, Mary. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. I'm going to do one more um, wait with an okay as the release word to where she goes to her treat. And then what I'm going to do is um, kind of a challenge. It's kind of the next step so that she learns the difference between okay and come. Is I will have her wait. I'll put a treat down to the side. And then I will call her to me. So instead of saying okay, she can go get the treat. I'm saying come. And she's supposed to come to me and not go to the treat. So we'll do one more practice of a wait with the treat. And then we'll do that. Mary, sit. Good, sit. Wait. Wait. Okay. Good girl. Good wait. Good wait. Okay. She's ready for the next step. Mary, sit. Sit. Good, sit. Wait. 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 Ah, uh ah, -uh. wait. Sit. Sit. Good, sit, wait. Now she's still looking at that treat. Come, Mary, come. Good, come. Good girl. Good girl. Easy, easy. Good girl, good, come. Uh-uh. Okay, so with that, she did really well. I had to hold the leash a bit so that she couldn't go over there, but she did not fight too hard, and she did come to me. So um, if you do that kind of thing to show her the difference between uh, come and okay. It's important that you do give her lots of praise and you have a treat ready for her. Now, I'm going to give this to her on my own terms so that she uh, doesn't think she can come to me, get a treat, and then run off to uh, whatever else she wanted to go see. So Mary, sit. Sit. Good, sit. Easy, easy. Mary. 
Good girl. There you go. All right. This was Rachel and Mary, and we are working on recall and wait.